What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I want to show you another Aviate watch. Uh, I've got this on loan either from Watches Galore or Aaron Dunlap or Time to Go Travel, Time Pieces and Travel, or Chris Marshall. So check out their uh, YouTube channels too. It comes in this little box. This is actually the Flyboy um, snap box and uh, pretty cool. You know, so this is how it comes, it looks like. Uh, again, not my watch, just one on loan. Comes in kind of like the OD green uh, box here. It's all kind of uh, nylon cloth. And then we have, you know, all the standard accoutrements. And here's the model, AV4021 OD. Or 0D, I think, actually, technically. And then it comes on this pillow. And what we have here is a NATO-style nylon strap um, installed already and it's in blue and that kind of matches the blue coloring on the watch here and then we also have again uh, looks like a NATO style leather strap in black so that's going to kind of give you the full-on blacked out look so let's just take a look at this watch um, I think it looks uh, I think a really attractive simple looking you know simple looking watch you know it doesn't go overboard on anything I, I believe this is like titanium plated so I want to say it's like steel, but it's like in titanium ionic or uh, plating, I think. And it looks great. So it should be really strong. Has a little bit of a brush look, even on the bezel. You know, kind of a, a, a very traditional style looking uh, watch case overall. Lugs that flow into the case here. And then we have... Um, a traditional kind of older old school style crown with a little bit of like a coin edge on it and then we have uh, the aviate roundel uh, etched into the end there in three dimensions um, and then on the dial here that's where it's kind of interesting we have a slightly textured dial in black and we have kind of all of the numbers and the hour markers reliefed up so what you can see here I kind of don't think they are applied and it looks like we have like this blue toned super luminova applied to the numbers and the hour markers and as well as the hands but as you can see there there's definitely some three dimension to them they're kind of sticking up and then you can see the aviate and the automatic um, and then if we let's see I can hear us winding the Japanese automatic movement so because it advertises there. So I'm just going to pull this out. Let me get hands out of the way here a little bit. Uh, because we have a date window at the 6 o'clock position, which I was going to show you. Uh, the date um, color is a black background with white lettering and kind of framed in that gray. We have kind of a gray crosshairs here. Kind of like a um, an aviation gauge. You know, not unlike maybe the Bell and Rosses and things like that. Sword style hands, very aviation uh, style. I have to give this a little wind up to get it running. We have the little red airplane on the end of the second hand there, um, and that's kind of a very standard aviation instrument type of thing. There we go. Finally got the movement wound up enough that we've got it rolling again. So really nice. I mean, like I said, kind of subtle and nice. Uh, we will go ahead and expose this to some light, see how this blue colored Luminova uh, lights up and looks in the dark for you. Hopefully, especially when you have black on black on black, things kind of get a little little dark, but uh, Aviate watches to me have had some really good loom. I will say that this case is 43 millimeters, I believe, and maybe 12 or 13 millimeters thick, so 43 millimeters is a great size for me. Uh, you know, this blue band also has black hardware on it, which is kind of cool. Aviate there, brushed. So let me just throw it on my wrist here with the the nylon strap. I like these. You know, I've had some Timexes with the, the NATO straps. It's not something I wear kind of often, but they're kind of a cool look. Man, um, nylon though is a little slippery. Be a little hard to do it sometimes. Yeah, I usually roll that under there, and sometimes you have to fold it over when there's extra. But you know, I don't have any extra on my wrist. 43 millimeters is a perfect size for me personally. I just really love that size on my wrist. 
I have about a seven and a half inch wrist, so I have a pretty big wrist. Um, one of the things about NATO style straps is that they kind of look a little bulky. I'm going to just kind of tuck this down and out of the way a little bit to kind of focus on the watch. But, you know, especially some of the straps get really long, and so you, you kind of have this return up here, and it kind of makes it look a little thicker. But kind of like a backpack strap or something. But I think, you know, in this case, it... It looks good. Now you could obviously throw on a regular strap on here too. And I think a light tan or a black leather strap would look fantastic with this. You could even do a blue strap if you want to kind of color match and you could actually go kind of a light blue. They do make um, blue leather bands, which usually look great. I'm gonna pull out this, this NATO strap right here so we can kind of take a look at um, the, the movement. Let me see if I can tell you what kind, 21 joule movement in there. And generally I think AV8 uses Seiko movements, but it's also possible it's Miyota or something like that. Now I don't see any markings on the movement itself, but you, you do have a black low back there and that's kind of cool and it says Flyboy, so it's nice that it's all kind of tied together in the branding. You can screw down case, which is also um, with this uh, IP plating on there and then just normal spring bars. Now, let's go ahead and just take a look at uh, the watch with this other NATO strap, but in kind of a leather, and it's it's thin. It's gotta kind of be thin in order to work. And so you pull out this, and then I'm gonna run this to the top, like that, and under. And then you gotta kind of work, get the watch all the way to the top, really, here. And then you're gonna run it through here, to kind of, lock the watch in place and now I don't really have it centered perfectly but I'm gonna leave that to your imagination while we just go ahead and put it on and get a just kind of a look at what it will look like so again especially because of the length of the straps you can they can kind of be a little long but that's what it looks like in a, in a black leather um this it's kind of blocking but uh you know, like I said, NATO straps can be a little bulky. I'm not, I'm not, I don't usually wear them typically, but I'm more of a regular normal watch strap guy. But I think actually the black to me just kind of works even better. It just, you know, kind of ties everything together and then just makes everything a little more subtle and kind of has like Bell and Ross good looks to me. So pretty cool. The Flyboy is it's a nice watch. And, and you know, and the cool thing about Aviate is that you get a reliable automatic movement. You get obviously both of these straps in, in a cool style. And you know, they're not that expensive. You know, two or three hundred bucks typically will get you into a nice aviate watch. And I think, you know, you can um, get a lot of style, a lot of reliability, and also not break the bank on it. So I've been really impressed with aviate watches in the past and you know, and their construction. And I think they do just a knockout job and design too. So Check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description um, to some other Aviates. Check out their website for some other cool stuff that they have going on there. also saw that Aviates been etched onto the crystal in the back here too, just FYI. And uh, we've got lots more to come on up. Peter Von Pan out.